we've been talking about the two coenzymes NAD and FAD quite a lot in respiration. Uh, so it's important actually to have a think and see what the differences are. You are not required to memorize their structure or even their full name, but just be aware that they are the coenzymes that are involved in respiration. Be very, very careful never to mix up NAD, which is in respiration, and NADP in photosynthesis. They are both coenzymes, they do the same thing of carrying protons and electrons for ATP production, but they are slightly different, so please do not mix them up. So the first one we'll think about is the fact that NAD actually takes part uh, in all of the stages in respiration since glycolysis all the way till the end. Whereas FAD only really comes along in the Krebs cycle. Another thing is NAD only accepts one proton, whereas FAD accepts two protons. And the next thing to consider is that reduced NAD is oxidized at the beginning of the electron transfer chain, whereas reduced FAD is oxidized further along in the electron transport chain. Then the final thing to consider is the fact that each reduced NAD can make 3 ATP, whereas each reduced FAD can only make 2. Just to say as well, you would have noticed in your textbook or in other reference books, you will see that there will be things like NADH or FADH2, or different variations of it. They are not wrong, because they have accepted the proton, so they become reduced, it's the same thing. It's just the molecular formula of it. Having said that though, I really recommend that everyone uses the term reduced NAD or reduced FAD rather than trying to bother with NADH or FADH because sometimes people forget how many protons they each accept and sometimes their charges will be different. So to avoid making that mistake, even though the exam bot might not mind it that much, but just to be safe, it's probably better to use the term reduced uh, coenzymes rather than saying NADH or FADH.